hello what is up everyone my name is sagar so in this video i am going to show you how you can integrate a google sign in into your flutter app so in the last video i just show you how you can integrate a firebase into your flutter app so this is the continuation video of that uh, video so if you didn't watch that video you should watch that video first and then you should watch this video continuously okay so this video is going to be a longer than expected i think this video at least it is going to be a 30 or 40 minute video so i am going to divide this video into two part it will almost a 15 15 minute video because nobody wanted to watch 40 minute a longer video so let's start the video without wasting any time okay so second a uh, wait we have to wait for it perhaps dot set string as a username as a current username dot display name okay a wait we need to wait for it traps dot set string uh, we need to add a photo URL and second it is current user dot photo url okay so we are saying it if it is not if document dot length if it is not is equal to null then else property so we need to write a wait pref dot set string as a id as a document zero as a id you can also copy this part and paste here it and you need to just replace with document zero with username okay document zero with photo url okay okay so after that we need to say that flutter toast toast as a show toast as a msg as a sign in success okay and we need to set we need to navigator dot dot uh, push we need to push it to material page root as a builder as a context as a home page okay so we are saying that if it is firebase user is not is equal to null if it is the condition is wrong then else property else property is that flutter toast as a show toast as a message sign in fail okay and we also going to say as a set state that loading bar is loading bar is equal to false and we also need to write a set state as a is loading bar is equal to false okay uh, so we just write it down these handle sign in property after that we are going to write a body okay so scaffold as a body uh, so we need to write a stack property first 
so it is going to overlap it okay so st stack providing us a children where we are writing the center as a child and we need to write a google sign in button and we need to write a on press property as a handle sign in okay and also we need to write a position mm, center out of the center so position as a child so we are saying that is loading condition if it is true then we are saying the container as a child as a mm, circular progress indicator with a they are providing us a property with a value color always stop animation as a color we are giving a color as a colors dot uh, red i can say uh, and if it is not then we need to write a container okay which is nothing okay uh, okay no so okay uh, we also need to add this container as a center as a center okay and we are going to give a color uh, to a container okay so we are going to give a color color um, colors dot uh, which color white we need to give a white color with opacity of 0.8 Okay. oh it is showing a error i think we need to add these colors okay and put here colors white with a white opacity 0 0.8 opacity okay so we need to add this home page okay right now we need to add this home page here and here okay so let's go to this home page so first of all you need to import a material file here it and after that you also need to add a google sign in for google functionality and second is a mm, fire auth okay mm, so i'm going to write a stateful widget as a home page okay so we need to write a final google we can also copy the same file as a google sign in into the home page and we need to write a sign sign out property here okay so future null as a handle sign out we need to handle a sign out as a async asynchronous okay so we are saying that we need to add a set state as a is loading we also need to add a bool variable is loading is equal to false is equal to false okay so is loading is equal to false nay true we need to write first it is true then await fire base auth dot instance dot sign out we need to sign out from the google okay after that we need to add a uh, google sign in dot disconnect first we need to disconnect from it then await a google sign in dot sign out 
okay we need to sign out property and after that we are saying set state as a is loading it false and we are saying that navigator dot push uh, dot of dot push and remove until when we need to first give it a route first what is a page material page route material as a builder mm, we are giving a builder as a context and as a my app okay and we also need to queue a route a route as a dynamic route as a false okay so we just initialize the navigator of context pushed and remove until the material page route uh, so it is going to show a my app if we click on this sign out function so we have to write sign out button okay so material app okay material app as a home scaffold and we need to write a uh, app bar where it is saying that sign out okay and i'm going to say that center title as a true okay after that uh, it is providing us a body so uh, right now we are saying that as a body as a center show in show the center visit um, as a raised raised button with a on press property of handle sign out okay and it is we are saying that child as a um, text you can say the text as a sign out okay and we are saying that style text style with the color colors dot colors dot white okay show a white color of the name okay and uh, we are also going to show a padding mm. padding to the const edge to all as a 20 okay you also need to add a color of the button dot red i'm going to give a red button okay. a few inches later uh, one more thing guys i just forget to add a return statement for return a fire base user okay fire base user okay and you also need to return not null but you need to return fire base user okay let's build this app into our flutter app so i'm going to restart the app 12 seconds later oh one more thing guys uh, you also need to enable this firebase uh, authentication so you need to enable this google google sign in okay a few moments later so here it is guys so we just initialize our flutter app into a real devices so i am going to click on this sign in button so it is going to ask me a google account so i am going to click on this button so it is going to take a time 
and it is just sign in successful so we just successfully uh, created a sign in button so if i click on this sign out button uh, so uh, it is going to sign out this uh, google account okay so i am going to click on it so i'm going to click a uh, sign out and here it is guys so we just initialize this our uh, google sign in functionality into our flutter app thank you so much for watching this video guys share this video with your friend please like this video and subscribe channel guys and i will see you in the next video guys